Hello my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode. If you're brand new around here, my name is Mel. I'm an international childhood trauma healer, helping you to heal the emotional pain from your childhood trauma, break that cycle of abuse in your family and in your relationships so you can get to the stage where you can manifest the partner of your dreams. Now, welcome to this beautiful chakra series. This is episode three as a part of a seven part series talking about everything to do with chakras. So if this is your first time watching, then you have two videos previous to this one to catch up on. So the solar plexus is an energy center within the body that's located around the stomach area. It is your source of personal power, self-worth, your inner vitality, and it's like that inner fight you know that song, um, this is my fight song, take back my life song, prove I'm a right song. It's that, it's that, that, that lion within you, that fire, that, just that drive within your, within your life. Now, it identifies with your ego, the element of fire, and its biggest challenge comes with making peace with shame. So there's a lot involved in this one. On the screen right now, I've got three different boxes for you. Balance, deficient, and excessive. Let's check out the deficient ones and see where you're at. So if you're deficient, you could have low self-esteem, be very submissive, have digestive problems, be very lethargic, and basically play the victim card in every situation. If you are excessive, you may be domineering, boastful, you could be a bully, very critical, a perfectionist, or you may have an eating disorder. If you are balanced and you have healed your solar plexus, you'll be confident. You will love everything about your body. Every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. You can manifest your goals with ease. You have a strong immune system and you have a beautiful, strong, tall posture. Now, regardless of where you are in your journey, I don't want you to freak out and be like, oh my God, I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Think about the environment in which you grew up. Where were you? And who have you become since being an adult? What types of relationships have you attracted? Did, were you like, well, if we look at, let's just take me for an example. I used to have very low, low self-esteem. I had massive digestive problems where um, I started learning to heal my body from the inside out. Now the solar plexus is, is actually, as I said before, located around the stomach area. Now, your stomach, well, your gut is basically responsible for 80% of your immune health. So if you don't have a strong immune system, what the flip are you putting into your mouth? I learned to, well, my first form of healing and self-love for me was through food. I started eating a whole foods plant-based diet and it literally changed everything. As I was transitioning, <laughs> There was a lot of shit coming out of my skin, especially in my face. It gave me acne. It was really bad. You can check on my playlist, my transformation. And I started learning how to feel good about myself. And food is a massive aspect. And I talk about this, well, through seven weeks of my um, my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Each week we look on healing a different aspect through food. So there's so much involved in all of this, so much. And it's also like learning to stand in the mirror and to be like, you are flipping beautiful. Like <laughs> you are amazing. And it's also like, okay, how can you balance these chakras? I wanted to bring to you the awareness of what exactly these are. And so you can identify them when they pop up. In terms of healing this blockage, I work exclusively with my coaching clients. There's five activities that we do every single week to heal each chakra. Now the solar plexus chakra, oh, it's just so interesting. It's like if you start dressing differently, your whole world changed. If I filmed in my pajamas, I wouldn't be like, blah, 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 blah. well, I have my slippers on. <laughs> you can't really say it. <laughs> but like, you know, that makes me feel good. The sun is too bright now. What I've noticed from working with my coaching clients is that a lot of them come to me with such low self-esteem. They're like very softly spoken. They have no drive in them, no confidence, and they have allowed other people to dominate them. They have allowed themselves to be in codependent, toxic relationships. They have allowed 
other people to treat them less than they deserve because they don't know how to treat themselves. Like if, if you truly learn, well, when you truly learn to treat yourself with love and respect, there's no way you'd be putting up with half the shit that you are right now. Because when you learn to truly love yourself and you find that inner power, that inner vitality, you start eating fruits and vegetables that actually make you feel good. Like yesterday, um, I had some chocolate and this chocolate only comes available like once a year. And I had it and I was like, oh God, I didn't feel good. My body like screams at me if I eat anything that's processed. And I'm like, just why? Just one day, one night only. But um, I was like, okay, I understand. My body wants it to be pure and that's how I feel my best. So let's do a tarot reading just to see where you're at and to see how I can help you out. Oh, this card was very gentle. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, to me, this signifies that you have the power to change your life. You have the power to manifest what you want into your life, which is interesting. We look at the balance one. You can manifest with ease. The Wheel of Fortune is luck, but it's also it doesn't, not just luck. It could come, come to you as like divine luck, but it usually comes through perseverance. It usually comes through hard work. This is number 10. So this is like your halfway ish. There's 21 major arcanas. This is a number 10. So just under halfway. And it's got, she's got the dice around her neck, which signifies to me, take a chance, take a chance, take a, take a, take a chance. You can change your mind. Da, 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 bum, bum. Take a chance on me. You know, take, you need to take a chance on yourself. I kind of feel like I'm hearing a rap song. It's like, take a chance on yourself. Yo, 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 we're gonna party like it's your birthday. Da, 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 da. I kind of feel like that, like, whoa, like that kind of like nightclub vibe, like that kind of hype girl kind of vibe. It's like, you need to be your own hype girl. If you don't truly respect yourself and have confidence within yourself, why the hell do you think you're gonna find that in somebody else? You are a vibrational match to those people around you. If you want people to treat you right, then you need to treat yourself right. <laughs> R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, da ba da ba. Yeah, you have to respect yourself. What is coming up for you in your life right now? Comment down below. Are you deficient, balanced, or excessive? Write it down below. And also write, I am where I am and it's okay. Say it with me. I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's okay. I surrender to the process and I set myself free because you know what? Everything gets better for me. Everything gets better for me. Like that's the thing. You have to tune yourself to be in a higher vibration. If you need help, there's two ways I can help you out. Number one, you can join my women's moon circle, $11.11 every single month on the full moon, just around the full moon. We focus on healing and releasing your blockages collectively on Zoom with our beautiful MK Love fam. If you want intensive help, one-on-one -on -one help, then you can sign up or you can apply for my women's coaching program. We talk through each of the chakras every single week. It's an intensive eight week program, but you need to be at the stage where you're committed and you are willing to do whatever it takes. You have no plan B. If you don't change something, then things are just gonna continue the way they are. And I know most of you, if you're at that stage, it's like you can't take anymore. It's like you've taken roadblock after roadblock after roadblock and you have no more fight in yourself and you're like, I have to do this. I have to fight this one last time for myself because I deserve it and I am incredible and I am wonderful because I exist. You know, you need to get to that stage where it's like, yeah, it's like drop the mic, I'm fabulous. Yo, that's where you're at. Anyways, that's your card. The wheel of fortune is on your side. You choose how you get this fortune. How are you gonna do it? Sitting at home, doing nothing, feeling sorry for yourself? That is a recipe for disaster. If you want help, Two ways I can help you, moon circle or coaching, you choose. <sighs> Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I truly appreciate you. Sending you so much love and healing. I hope this didn't trigger you too much, but I hope it triggered you enough to do something about it. Whew. I just feel like I'm a little bit worked up and I feel like, I hope it wasn't too harsh. Sometimes I can be a little bit too harsh. 
but you know it's coming from a place of love. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you for next episode when we talk about the heart chakra, talking about all things love. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. I love you so much.